What's up again everybody? WizKids has recently been leaking more and more cards from the upcoming Dark Phoenix Saga Draft Pack set. And in this video we are going to talk about one of the characters that is making its return to Dice Masters and has me more excited than anything I've seen in a long time. Before we look at the cards though, let's get a little background for the character. Nathaniel Essex, also known as Mr. Sinister, has a very dark backstory. He's a character that was slowly driven mad by the loss of his first son, who died at the age of four. After his son died, he became obsessed with the idea of human evolution, of what that next step for humankind will look like. So he goes and he steals his son's body, who had died from birth defects, and he begins to run experiments. And through his research, he discovers these markers and genes that, over the course of the next century, he predicts, will begin to mutate. At this point, he pulls a full-on Dr. Frankenstein and stitches together parts from people and animals to try and create a representation of what this mutation might look like. And of course, doing so draws the ire of the entire scientific community. Nevertheless, he continues his research into mutation and human experimentation. This continues until his wife finds out what he's been doing. And of course, because all of this research stemmed on the death of their four-year-old son, a rift is driven in between them. This is, of course, all happening while Nathaniel's wife is pregnant with their second son, and eventually she begins to give birth prematurely, and sadly the baby doesn't survive. The doctors also tell Nathaniel that his wife won't survive the experience either, and some of her final words to Nathaniel are, to me, you are utterly and contemptibly sinister. These parting words drive Nathaniel to make a deal with Apocalypse, who agrees to give Essex genetic mutations to extend his life as well as the host of other powers. And of course, once this happens, Mr. Sinister is born, a villain with prolonged life, super strength, a healing factor, and of course a brilliant geneticist who can mutate and clone subjects, which is shown in the comics when he clones Jean Grey to create Madeline Pryor, both of which who will be making appearances obviously in this Dice Masters set. So understanding who the character is and his backstory, now let's take a look at the cards that we'll be seeing within this set. Mr. Sinister Geneticist is a five cost bolt villain, a common card that has a one for one, two five two, 236 stat line, and he says when fielded, KO up to two target sidekick dice. When Mr. Sinister KOs an opposing character, you may pay one life. If you do, your opponent loses one life. It also has a brand new global that says pay two bolts. Target non-sidekick character die gains the deadly keyword. So here we have a strong wind fielded effect that can remove either your own sidekicks or your opponent's sidekicks, combined with a very interesting life loss ability. If you target two of your opponent's sidekicks with his first wind fielded effect, you can then choose to lose two life, and your opponent would then lose two life as well. Very interesting. In my opinion, however, the ability on the card is secondary to this brand new global. Paying two bolts to give something the deadly keyword is incredibly powerful in casual and in competitive play. If you think back to the meta video I released a few days ago, large attacking characters like Godcatcher and Becky clearly in the top tier of the meta, and characters that can remove them are incredibly important right now. So much so that people are running two cost characters that only have the deadly keyword, just so that they can deal with these large attackers. Now all of a sudden you don't need to. You can just run your win condition, and if you run into the problem of a giant god catcher, you can pay two bolts and give your character deadly. It's also very thematic to the character to be able to mutate your dice at global speed. Not to be outdone is Mr. Sinister Mutant Supremacist, a five cost bolt character with the villain affiliation. This is the uncommon that says when fielded, ignore all text on opposing character cards, including global abilities, until the end of the turn. It also has a brand new global. Pay 3. Ignore target attacking character dies text until the end of the turn. So not only do we have a reprint of the 4 cost Shriek's ability on the 5 cost Mr. Sinister Mutant Supremacist, we also now have a global speed way to ignore a character's text. 
Now of course, it can only ignore target attacking character dice text, but this is the first time in Dice Master's history that we can pay for a global and wipe something's text. This is incredibly powerful against a character like Becky Lynch. And keep in mind, both of these cards are common and uncommon in their rarities. This is a power level that we've never seen before, and two abilities that in a lot of ways counter the tier 1 options in the competitive meta. Is there any possible way that the rare could stack up to these two rarities? Let's find out by looking at Mr. Sinister Dark Experimentation, a 5 drop bolt character as well, and this one says, when Mr. Sinister attacks, after blockers are declared, you may pay 2 life and have him gain plus three attack. So if we're only looking at character abilities, this is a clear step down in power level. But if you look at the global, it says pay two, field a sidekick from your used pile, prep a sidekick die from your used pile. This is the Atlantis global, but now it is not based on a fist and a shield. This is the Star Labs global, but it is not based on a bolt and a shield. This is the Mr. Sinister Global, and it is too generic. Again, as I mentioned in my meta breakdown video, the Atlantis Global made its way into the top 12 in force because of how well it can churn through your bag by prepping and fielding a sidekick. This is the same effect, but with too generic. You can pay anything you want for this. If the Atlantis Global was making its way onto teams that didn't even really want shields or fists, how many more people will play this, the Mr. Sinister Global? And with three powerful cards with three new globals, which one are we gonna call the Mr. Sinister Global? The common that gives deadly to something? The uncommon that wipes an attacker's text? Or the rare that allows you to prep and field a sidekick? Definitely food for thought, but if you thought we were done, you'd be wrong. Because we have one more card to look at, and that is Mr. Sinister Biologist. The six cost bolt villain super rare. That says, while Mr. Sinister is active, prevent non-combat damage dealt to your other character dice. And of course, Mr. Sinister gets another brand new global, and perhaps the most powerful of them all. This one says, pay three. Target character die gains overcrush. This is nothing short of incredible. Again, for the first time in Dice Master's history, we can now give overcrush to any character die at global speed. This singular character, these four cards, these four globals, have the capacity to completely upend the current competitive meta. And how amazingly thematic is that? What character would be better to twist and distort the meta than the mad scientist himself, Mr. Sinister? If you enjoyed looking at these cards, and if you'd like to see more spoilers from this set, leave a comment down below, click like, and hit the subscribe button. These were not the only spoiler cards that I received from WizKids, and if you would like to see more, then hit like, hit subscribe, and leave me a comment and I'll get cracking on making more videos. Before you go, don't forget to chime in down below on the question of the day. And today's question is, which of these four cards and which of these four globals do you think will be the most impactful at changing the competitive meta? Sound off below and as always, thanks for watching.